Hey, what's up, Minutemen? Kevin here, and welcome back for more of the greatest story ever told. Undertale. Now, when last we left off, we finally had our showdown with Undyed, which was absolutely epic, even though I did make a bit of a fool of myself by not doing exactly what I was supposed to do during the battle, <laughs> after I had specifically said that somebody had kind of spoiled what I was supposed to do, and I was just cringing so hard going back and editing the entire time I just wasn't fleeing, even though the color of the heart was clearly changed from, what was it, green to red? I think when it was red, we were allowed to flee. Uh, but anyways, story of my Let's Plays, always goofing something up. But in any case, it was a lot of fun. That was an epic battle. And today we're going to continue on because we had left off at the laboratory entrance in the Hotlands, apparently. Uh, but first, we do have to do a little bit of backtracking. So why don't we go ahead and jump in here. And wow, I forgot, I forgot how intimidating those guys were. Uh, but first, we need to do a little backtracking because as you guys uh, were so kind to inform me, like always, there were a couple of really cool things that I guess I missed. Uh, I want to go back and apparently Undyne lives in that locked house that was right next to Napstabluk's house. Uh, so I want to go back and pay her a little visit, see if we can be all buddy-buddy now. And let's see, what was the other thing? Temi Village. I guess Temi Village was in sort of one of those dark rooms back there. Uh, so I'm gonna slowly make our way back, or hopefully not so slowly. Hopefully we can get back there pretty quickly. I kind of forget exactly how far we've come. Matchbox 20. But, uh, I'm going to make our way there, and I'll let you guys know when we arrive. Who is this guy? He was not here before. And what is this? It's a box. Presumably to be pushed. This is, this is the only way we could possibly come. <laughs> bah! Today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah! Humbug. There's no art in action-y, mindless schluck. It's just time-based, timing-based drivel. Give me something that challenges the deepest parts of my mind. You, you're young. You've still got hope. Yeah. Here, try solving this block-pushing puzzle. Where? I don't see it. I just see that block. I didn't see a puzzle. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure we'll run into him again on the way back. Maybe we'll figure it out by then. Alright, so I believe that Temi Village is in this room. If we go, like, down to the bottom right somewhere, you guys were saying, there's, like, a hidden path. But I'm gonna wait. I wanna go see Undyne first, and then we'll grab this on the way back. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I think we're already back. Yeah, here we go. Awesome. It was this house, right? Okay, wait. This was Napstabluk, and then this one, I think, it's locked. Wait, how do we... No, 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 no. There were way too many comments for you guys to be trolling me. Unless it was a mass conspiracy. Hey, Kev, yeah, you gotta go visit Undyne. It's all the way back at the beginning of the game. <clears throat> Idiot. Naps to Bluke. How do I get into your neighbor's house? Alright. Um. Seriously? Is there a back door? <laughs> can, I, can I get in through the back? Well, what the hell, guys? Well, I'm kind of at a loss. We're just gonna have to settle for moving on. Let's head over to Temi Village and see what that's all about. I think while we're here, actually, we're pretty low on food after that last fight. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I can never look at him with a straight face. Um, so what do we want to buy here? I think... Crab apples... Looks like, uh, yeah, let's just grab a nice little variety. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Alright, we're good. Whoa, who is this? This is new. Um, hello? Tra-la-la, -la, I am the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Yeah. Door's always down for some splorin. Oh, okay. It's like a quick transport. Actually, no, I take that back. I don't- I don't want to go with you. <laughs> can I- can I stop this? Crap, it's not letting me go back. We might have to just go ahead into Hotland. <laughs> Hotland is to the right. Where are you going? Whoa! Oh man, this is straight out of Willy Wonka. It's gonna get all trippy, isn't it? Tra la la, the waters are wild today. That's good luck. <laughs> Alright, come again sometime. Tra la la. Thank you, boat man, woman, person thing. Oh, now we gotta go back again. <laughs> that was such a waste. 
The only other thing I can think of for Undyne's house is this puzzle with the box. I don't know, maybe we can do something with that and we'll end up getting like a key? What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Bah, forget it. This generation is really hopeless. So I, I think it's just like a joke. I don't think there's actually any puzzle here. There's nothing we can do with it. Weird. Alright, Jabba. You just be a cranky puss. I'm gonna keep going on to Temi Village. Alright, so let's see if we can't find our way around to the bottom right here. Looks like we're almost there already. And then go down. Aha! Temi Village! This is... <laughs> Look at these things! And listen to that music! It's just the weirdest place. Oh, I love it. Hi! Welcome to Tim Village! Oh boy. Hi, I'm Timmy! And this is my friend Timmy! Oh, there's so many Timmies. And they're all gonna say the same thing. <laughs> Don't forget my friend! I'm Bob. <laughs> wow. Temmies are badasses, riding on dragons, rich history of Tem. Boy, you should check out Tem Shop. Yeah, yeah, I agree, you should check Tem Shop. Alright, so this box is gonna just have like all the usual stuff that we've left in there. Okay. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Humans, such a cute. Tim, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tim, proud parent. Alright, uh, one more Timmy. Oh, there's one hiding in the wall, apparently. P Tim heard human allergies to Tim. That okay. Tim understand. Tim also allergic to Tim. I think the the first Tim. What? Oh, all breaking out in a rash. Oh, uh, poor little guy. Can we go back to the old man turtle shop and buy some Claritin? Mushroom dance. <laughs> Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? Oh, I wish I could see its face better right now. Dora, move over. It symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here <laughs> by my hyphae. Hyphae? Hi I don't know what that word is. My struggle to pull away. My struggle to escape. But alas, to no avail. Well, that got deep really quickly. Can we do something with the egg? It's hard boiled. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tim. I don't think that's gonna hatch. What What is your story? Hiding in the wall back here. Feeling of being watched. How about the giant Tem shrine? Statue of Tem, very famous. Very. The eighth wonder of the world. The statue of Tem. <laughs> I kind of want to watch this mushroom dance one more time. The eyes just come out from under the hat. Fantastic. Alright, alright. Let's see what's in the shop of Tem. <laughs> Tem shop? Hoi! Welcome to the Tem shop. Do we dare? Do we dare hold a conversation with this weird ass thing? <laughs> Let's say hello. Hoi! I'm Timmy. Alright, about yourself. <laughs> I think this is going to be a uh, very repetitive conversation. Deep history about the shop. Yeah, yeah, go to temp shop. All right. <laughs> I think we got the idea. Uh, what are you selling? What kind of goods are you peddling there, sir or ma'am? Uh, tem flake. Oh! Where did we come across a temmy that we were supposed to feed tem flakes? Discount food of tem. Expensive. It's all the same. It's just... Wait, Tem pay for college. A thousand gold. Well, I couldn't do that even if I wanted to. Let's just buy some Tem flakes. Bag fulls. Oh, it's gonna take up space every time? Ooh. Alright. Well, at least we'll have a couple of them. We'll just go throw them in the box. Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, so we can put some of these Tem flakes in the box. Just in case we come across another Temmie that needs flakes. Well, glad we came back for this. Take care, Temmies. Till we meet again. 
All right, back in Hotland. Now, where oh where to go? That's the laboratory. Let's see what these guys are up to. They're not gonna let us pass, but can we talk to them? <laughs> Sorry, Undyne like told us there was totally a human in the area, so like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Oh, they have elevators. Yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. How about you? Oh, you're the you're the strong, silent type. Okay, what's down here? This is where we came up from the boat, okay? So it looks like only one way to go. Let's check out this lab. Is it dark in here? We've got like a spotlight on us. Whoa. We're being watched. It's too dark to see near the walls? Okay. Oh, so we can't see anything at all. We can't check out any of this. Hmm. Can we look in the fridge at least? Too dark to see. Okay, we can't do anything. There's got to be like a light switch in here, right? I'm guessing we can't go up this way since the escalator's going down. Alright. The desk is a mess. We've got some dog food here. Who are we going to encounter? <laughs> Who is this Zany character? <laughs> Thank you for turning on the lights. Is that Triceracop? <laughs> oh my god! I didn't expect to show up so soon! I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy, and... And... Um... <laughs> Hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. Alphys. I think Undyne was talking about this guy, right? B -b but uh... I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, I, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti- anti-human combat features? <gasps> Of, of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so, and, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> but, um, hopefully he won't, we won't run into him. Great. So now we're gonna have to fight. Uh-oh. Oh no. Did you hear something? How can we reason with a computer? We can't talk down a robot. Oh boy. <laughs> Metaton doesn't want to be fed. Metaton wants to hunt. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh wait, this is, <laughs> I can tell by the, uh, the sound. Oh yes. Welcome beauties. That, that's him? <laughs> Doesn't that look a lot like the uh, the machine that Papyrus was using for like that puzzle? To today's quiz show. <laughs> what? What? Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. I only want it to be loved. <laughs> Never played before, gorgeous. No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly, or you die. <laughs> I've never seen this before, I swear. <clears throat> Metaton attacks. Alright. Uh, let's act. Let's check first. Let's start with a check. Attack of 30, defense of 255. So, I don't think we could kill him even if we wanted to. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. 
What's the prize for answering correctly? Um, more questions. <laughs> the quiz show continues. Alright, um, nothing we can do, like, sparing, that's not gonna help. We're just gonna have to get our way through this, I think. If we cry, that's not gonna do anything. Screaming is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize. Another question. What's the king's full name? Um, Asgore Dreamer? Yes. <laughs> what a terrific answer. Alright, uh, hopefully he actually asks us real questions and hopefully we can remember. Ah, uh, the quiz show continues, let's act. Does it matter? Let's just try it, just for the hell of it. What happens if we spare him? <laughs> Enough about you, let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Hopes and dreams. <laughs> Metal and magic. Sugar and spice. I'm gonna say... Metal and magic. Am I actually getting these right? <laughs> or is it just gonna tell me I'm right no matter what I do? Uh, it's just spare. It doesn't matter what we choose, I think. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains train name is seven days of A and B. And it's now how much longer until both trends meet each other. Uh, oh god, I don't have time! Oh no! <laughs> I didn't have time to read it. I didn't even look at the answers. Were all the answers the same? They were probably all the same. I could have chosen any one of them. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Don't count on your victory. Is it gonna be said? How many flies are in this jar? Uh, there are 53 flies in that jar. No! Oh, is that gonna kill us? Okay, that only did five damage that time. I wonder if we can actually win or if we just have to... We must be able to win. Let's heal up. Um, Astro food. Crab apples heal up 18. CT does 11, I think. And it also improves our speed, so we can choose our answer faster. Sure. Let's do a CT. Let's play a memory game. Monster oh, that's, uh, that's Froggit. What? That was clearly Froggit. Lies. Lies and slander. He's cheating. He's cheating. I don't want to play anymore. Uh, we probably should eat something. Or maybe he's been doing five damage per attack, so we could probably hold off one more time. I'm gonna cry. Screaming is against the rules. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Um, heck yeah. <laughs> I love it. The quiz show continues. Oh, no, no, I don't want to fight you. I want to spare you. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Meta? What? What? <laughs> More often than not, the answer is C. Of course, that was easy for you. The quiz show continues. Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kissing Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite? Oh, I know this one. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach. She buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's a snail flavor. She's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship. And... <laughs> Alphas, Alphas, Alphas. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? You should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphas have a crush on? Undyne. Yes. Say, Alphas, I told you it was obvious. <laughs> Maybe it was magic. Even the human figured it out. Yes, yeah, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together, sharing a domestic life. <clears throat> Margin of error, 1%. We get the idea. Dr. Alf is helping you. The show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Poochie was an alien? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Who's gonna fix the hole in the wall? Oh, yeah! Well, that was certainly something. Yes, it was. Alright. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Wait, wait. 
Let me give you my phone number. Then, maybe, if you need help, I could. What? Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. W wait a second, please. Oh, sweet. We get an upgrade? <laughs> Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Cool. So, Dr. Alphys. We meet at last. Um, <laughs> I can see you in the bathroom. Can we go through the hole in the wall? Alright, I guess not. Um, can't go into the bathroom. Let's keep checking out over here and then we'll go up. Oh no, I guess we probably want to go up first. Explore what's upstairs in the lab. Whole bunch of books. Alright, alright. What's this crazy machine do? Pink goop drips from this strange machine. It's an incredible invention when not in use. This bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. It's a promo poster from Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. Alright, so it looks like we've uh, we've seen all that Alphys has to uh, has to share with us in his lab. I'm sure I probably missed something of vital importance that you guys will let me know about, so we can always come back and check it out later. Looks like Alphys is all done in the bathroom there, but we can't go in. So let's continue on to explore Hotland. Hopefully Alphys will keep in touch. Updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. VV. Okay. Well, you can watch that <laughs> anytime. Updated his status. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Are you going to be doing status updates every five seconds? Gotta call up the human and guide them. Yes, please do. Do that. Ooh, alright. So it looks like we can only go on this side. Oh, what do we got here? Vulcan strolls in. Vulcan? No, no, no. We don't want to fight. Looks like he's asleep. <laughs> How are we even gonna encourage, criticize, hug? Looks piping hot. I don't really want to hug you. Probably melt our face off. Criticize. Let's just encourage. Let's be supportive. Doing a great job. Its attacks become extreme. Oh god, I should have healed up. Does my best. Oh god. Oh, holy shnikes. Vulcan parades around you proudly. Yes, yes, good job. Um... Oh, we can spare you already. Okay, cool. 40 gold. We should actually... Wait, wait, wait. Can we... Okay, that's gonna pause us. Good. We need to heal up a little bit. Let's have a crab apple. It's gonna be kind of overkill, but still, I'd rather hang on to one of those CTs in case we need to up our speed at some point. Gotta call them in a minute. Well, oh. <laughs> this looks tricky. Um... Oh, actually, that's not bad at all. Sweet! <laughs> Let's save it up. Wishing sound of steam and cogs, it fills you with determination. Is there anything that doesn't fill us with determination? We're in the magma chamber. Piping hot magma. I hate using the phone, I don't want to do this. Well then stop doing it. Just call me. Sunderplane gets in the way. Not on purpose or anything. Alright. Um, let's approach you, or let's let's check. Let's start with a check. Seems mean, but does secretly like you. Okay, so I guess we're supposed to flirt with it? <laughs> no way, why would I like you? <laughs> I don't know. You're being very overly aggressive, dropping bombs on us. I only bombed you because I like you. Uh, let's flirt with you. Center plane that you like its taste in movies and books. <laughs> you sicko. Please, please stop bombing me. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. We're, we're gonna die. Gives you a condescending barrel roll. We can't do anything yet, and I've got to heal up. The next one is gonna kill us for sure. Um, let's do the crab apple. <laughs> it's not like I like you. Oh, different attack. Okay. Ah! 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 <laughs> oh, God. Looks over, then turns up its nose. Jeez. We're taking a beating here. Um, what if we approach? 
You get close to Sunderplane, but not too close. Human? Um, are we supposed to... Oh, I get it. We gotta touch the green part of it, but not too close. Shakes its nose dismissively at you. So that's what we gotta do. We gotta approach and just touch the green. You get close to Sunderplane, but not too close. Is that enough, I hope? Accidentally bumps into you with its wing. Okay, so I think we're done. Spare. Cool. Alright, so I guess we can't get through there. That's a... That is a wall. That is a wall made of magma. Is this gonna bump us up and over? Sweet. <laughs> That's fun. Um... Let's go... Alpha's updated status. Oh my god, I've had claw over the last digit for five minutes. Oh, just make the call! You're driving me crazy, Alphys. You're just interrupting our puzzle solving. Ring, ring, here we go, finally. Click. Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. Alright, alright. I don't like the looks of this. Ah, uh, hi. So, the blue lasers... Ah, uh, I mean, Alphys here, hi. The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, um... You have to be moving, and they, um, they won't, um, uh, move through those ones. Uh, bye. Oh, that's painful. That's painfully awkward. <laughs> oh my god, I did it! Yes, 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 we get the idea. So, if we're moving, okay, I gotcha. But I'm really curious, actually, if we go back down, there was that other direction. Did we miss anything? Oh god, can we not go back up there now? Oh, wait, what happened there? <laughs> Alright, so what's ha what happens if we go this way? Oh. <laughs> I think there's actually- Oh, no, we can. We can go down. And then- Ooh, there's something over there. Looks like a magnifying glass, maybe? But is there any way we can actually- No. Oh, it changes direction. So we just have to jump on this thing at the right time. Cool. There's a fry pan. Oh, it's a fry pan. I thought there was a magnifying glass. Will you take it? Yes. Burnt pan. Alright, now what happens if we go to the right? Anything different over there? Nope. Alright, so the orange ones we have to be moving, the blue ones we have to stay still. <laughs> Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? Okay. Alright, so for this we gotta stay still, and then we gotta move, and then we gotta stay still again, and then- they OH NO! Whew, that was close. Alright, let's go a little bit further. Yeah, okay. We're doing this. We're doing it! Can we press this button? It's a switch. Press it. Cool. Alright, so that'll make it easier when we have to go back and get something that we missed. Uh, oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. Alf has posted a picture, a cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. Oh, Alphys, you are just not going to stop, are you? <laughs> Can we block you on our phone? Alf is here. The northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. I I think you should g g go to the right first. Alright, so we're going to the right first. One of these cool cats. Oh my god. Alphys. Oh my god. I wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. Probably would be. Alphys. Brother. You gotta relax, my man. The way to work is blocked, so I had to catch the Metatons show on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. That human almost looked real. And how about you? Metaton. Yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. His fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. Not too shabby. Okay. Alright, what is this? This is some kind of a puzzle. Should we talk to this cool character over here? The door leading through the area is closed, so I tried the puzzle, but I kept running out of ammo, and it kept restarting. And my two co-workers won't help. It's like they don't even want to go to work. Alright, what does this say? Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. Alright. Um, how do I... Shoot the boxes to complete your mission? I don't... What? I'm shooting the boxes. 
<laughs> Am I not doing this right? What happens if I... Um... Oh, okay. So if I shoot through... Okay, gotcha. Did I... I think I did it? Did I do it? Wow, you solved it? I'm impressed. You must be a total nerd. Just like Alphys. Alright, so there's one more puzzle over on the left side that we have to solve now. Is this gonna shoot us straight into the other one? Nope. Alright, cool. Alphys here. D that blue laser seems totally impassable, but, but as the royal scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll hack it to the, the Hotland Laser Database and take it out. Click. Thank you. <laughs> that was easy. Hey, ladies. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now we're free. We can, well, I guess we'll just have to keep standing here. <laughs> we're hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. All right, let's see what the puzzle's all about. Oh, it's gonna be like a similar... Let's see what this says. We gotta shoot the boxes again. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. Alright, so we've gotta find a way... Um... Okay, so that looks like we've got two shots. Ooh, baby. Um... There's gotta be a way... Alright, so we got that one. Yes! <laughs> Just keep trying till you hit success. Awesome, congratulations. So that door should have opened now, which means that we've got to go up. All right, what kind of goodies are we gonna find up here now? Whatever, I'll just explain it. Didn't we already beat it? Uh, I think, um, hey, about the puzzles on the left and right, they're a bit difficult to explain. But, uh, you already solved them? Awesome! Click. Ooh, this looks fun. Oh boy, it's dark. We're about to find something. Hey, hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. Ooh, this looks very friendly. <laughs> Can we have some cookies and milk? Oh no. <gasps> oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premiere cooking show. <laughs> Can we move? No, we're just gonna have to do whatever um, Metaton says. Preheat your ovens, because we've got a very special recipe for you today. We're going to be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand. <laughs> We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. All right, well, there's eggs. Found the eggs. That looks like... Is that sugar or is that sugar? I can't tell if one's sugar and one's flour. You found the sugar. And then is that the milk or is the milk in the fridge? Milk, eggs in the fridge? No way, darling. They'd get cold. <laughs> All right, so that's got to be the milk. Okay, I got them. Great job. Just put them in the middle of this counter. Perfect, great job, beautiful. We've got all the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs, oh my. Wait a magnificent moment, how could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient, human blood. A human soul, I was close, I was close. Oh God, no, no Metaton. Is Alphys calling to save our life again? Hello, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Well, wait a second. Couldn't you make a... Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean, use a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Vegan? Vegan does not compute. That's a brilliant idea, Alphys. Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MTT brand always convenient human soul flavor substitute. A <laughs> can of which is just over there on that counter. Fantastic. Uh, let's go grab that so we can make this cake. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? 
<laughs> that was extremely convenient. What's happening? What is happening? Oh no! <laughs> what? By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So better start climbing, beautiful. Can we actually, do we have to do this? Can we climb? <laughs> oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. For fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. Is there a jetpack in the phone? You see that huge button that says jetpack? <laughs> Watch this. No way. Oh my god. There! You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now get up there! Am I actually controlling this? I guess I am. Oh, and we have to avoid all of his, um... I don't know, seasoning? Is he seasoning us? Okay, okay. There's no- we can't avoid that! Unless we can fly- oh, we can. We can go over this. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Alright. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Da, da, da. Great job, Dora. Great job. Keep up the good work. Careful, 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 careful. Yes, yes, yes. You're a natural, Dora. You're a natural. You belong in the skies. Da, da, da. I don't know why, but this is actually making me hungry. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. Oh, so much seasoning. I think we did it. I think we made it. <laughs> my, my. It seems you've bested me, but only because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Oh, I loathe to think of what would have happened to you without her. Wait, did he say her? I just missed that. <laughs> I said Alphys was her. Well, toodles. Oh yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the, <laughs> the cake ahead of time, so forget it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Wow. We we did it. We we really did it. Great job out there, team. What well, uh anyway, let's keep heading forward. So if we go back into the kitchen, are we gonna find anything useful? Can we actually like take the cake? If he baked it ahead of time, can we take it with us? It's a specifically regular sized sink. It's a fridge. It's strangely warm. Alright, so I guess we can't actually take anything with us. It would be sweet if we could steal the microwave that actually works. <laughs> Go heat up some of Papyrus' spaghetti with it. Alright, let's keep going here. Ooh, this looks friendly and welcoming. Let's save it up. An ominous structure looms in the distance. You're filled with determination. Core view. Yeah, let's keep going. Ring. To see that building in the distance? That's the core. The source of all power for the underground. Is that GLaDOS? It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by, um, anyway, that's where we're going to go. In the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle, and from there, you can go home. So it seems that we found the elevator, at least. What floor are we going to? Please select a location. Um, left floor one, right floor two? I, I have no idea. I think we're supposed to go up, right? Let's go to right floor two. I hope this was right. I'm sure Alphys will let us know if we <laughs> made a mistake. Who are you, sir? Heh, <laughs> I'm Heat's Flamesman. Remember my name? Alright. I will remember your name, Heat's Flamesman. <laughs> Sans, what's up, brother? Hey, buddy. What's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30 gold. I don't really enjoy your tricks anymore, Sans. I don't trust you and anything that you're selling. Yeah, you've got to save your money for college and spiders. Who are these guys? I love hot dogs. Hey, isn't it weird there's snow on that guy's roof? <laughs> Guess he's just too lazy to clean it off. Guess the snow didn't get the memo that we are in a fiery hell right now. Toasty bun. Fantastic. All right, you guys enjoy your hot dogs. I'm going to keep going, hopefully in the right direction. Who we got? Pyro bounds towards you. I don't think we fought you yet. Or not that we fight any of you, but I don't think that we have acted with you yet. Pyro. Uh, let's check you out. 
This mischievous monster is never warm enough. All right, so we got to heat you up somehow. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. So wait, do we... What does... I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> it's protected by its winsome smile. Um, I am a little confused by what we're supposed to do during the fight part. Or during, like, the dodging part of it. So I need to heal us up a little bit here. Let's have a crab apple. Is it cold in here? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Settle down with the explosives. Pyrope is pretending to be a candle. What are we supposed to do? There's nothing we can... I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Wants more heat. Yes! Sweet victory. 45 gold. Uh, we should probably heal up after that, though, because we're in pretty tough shape. Item... What do we got? Uh, CT crab apple. Uh, let's have the last crab apple. We're gonna have to buy some more stuff at some point. I wonder if we should buy some hot dogs, actually. Uh, no. Let's hold off. Alright, I'm gonna keep going left for now. We can always come back and go down. Alphys, what do you got for us? What's good? This puzzle is kind of, um, timing-based. You see those switches over there? You'll have to press all three of them within three seconds. I'll try to help you with the rhythm. Oh, wow. I don't think we can possibly move that quickly, can we? Oh. <laughs> okay, now press the third one. <laughs> Thank you for ruining everything. Looks like you only needed to press two of them. Are we... Did we do it? Are we done? <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh, dear God. That's the last time I tried to help with a puzzle. Laugh my ass off. Ring. Oh, hey, hey. I'm going to the bathroom, so I'll be MIA for a bit. Thank God. Alphys, just shut up. Shut up. Okay. We can do this. Um, Where are we trying to get to? How? What? There's got to be a way that we can get up to that top left. Okay, so anytime we're on this platform, if it is set up so that we can jump to the left, then as soon as we land, we're not going to be able to continue jumping to the left. So that, that like, left, that platform to the left of where we are now, we have to come at it from underneath, from down. Alright, so if we press the button again, and now do it. Perfect. OMG, people think Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1? Lol, that's a joke, right? So obviously there's a save point here, guys, and I'm kind of on the fence. I think that we probably reached a good point to save it up for the day. I don't want the episode to be too, too long. So we made some good progress today. We backtracked a little bit and caught up with some of those things, although we weren't able to get into Undyne's house, so I don't know what the deal was with that. But I'm sure I'll be hearing from you in the comments about what the story is. Uh, but we made it into Tembi Village, and we spent lots of quality time with Dr. Alphys and became TV stars in the process. So <laughs> another good episode of Undertale, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll be back next week keep making progress and I don't know exactly how close we are to the end but we are getting probably relatively close it sounds like we've got to come through this core and then we're going to get up into the castle and I'm sure that Asgore has got to be like the final showdown boss so in any case I will see you guys all next week as we continue our adventures I'm going to save it up here so thanks again for watching guys tips comments all that good stuff down in the comments below so have a good one guys and as always at ease minute men